Um, good day, everyone. Um, this is a continuation of our study regarding the importance of education that is written, and we're taking it from the book Councils on Health by Ellen G. White. And this is the second part of the study, and if you haven't watched yet the first part, you can just search it on YouTube, and then um, if you like it, just click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click the button down below. Um, that would be a great help for the channel, for my channel. So we'll continue. It has a subtitle here, Children Enjoyed by Too Much Study. Now we'll have to examine why it is entitled and how the children are enjoyed by too much study. So let me read here. Uh, many children have been ruined for life by urging the intellect and neglecting to strengthen their physical powers. Now we're just we're still continuing studying the 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 education for our children, and it says here that uh, um, we are urging their their intellect, and we oftentimes neglect to strengthen their physical powers. Uh, many have died in childhood because of the course pursued by injudicious parents and school teachers, enforcing their young intellects by flattery or fear when they were too young to see the inside of a school room. Now, it's not talking about that the, the, our children, um, uh, they like um, died because of their negligence of what we uh, we do for them, but um, it says here that they will be they they might have health problems because of the course that we pursued because of our um, like um, we we have so many plans for them, but sometimes um, the, the plans are not um, it's not fitted to them. So, um, uh, it says here that enforcing their y the, our young intellects, our children, by flattery or fear. Because uh, mostly, as I noticed, in, uh, children in these preschools, if they want their parents to uh, let them go into the classroom, so the, 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 the way that sometimes the parents use uh, the use are by flattery like uh, you have to um, get inside because if not I didn't have to give you I will not give you your favorite food um, but if you go inside and learn in them um, um, follow your teachers instruction then um, I will give you something so that is flattery and sometimes fear uh, we we make them afraid of something, and if they are afraid, then they they they, they have to go inside the classroom. So that is um, what it says here. Their minds have been taxed with lessons when they should not have been called out, but kept back until the physical constitution was strong enough to endure mental effort. Now, children from one year old down to uh, six years old in my uh, part if uh, you ask me um, they have to have physical activities uh, it has to be like something physical that uh, they can exercise their physical powers and uh, but because we send them earlier to school there's a possibility that they um, they are overtaxed Especially if the teachers want to learn them more, and if the teachers have uh, planned, have made lesson plans, and they want to to finish it, they want to finish it that day, so that the, the children could learn, as they say, many things as what they have planned. But um, children should be what, if they are not strong enough, then because they are not strong enough to do the mental effort. To endure the mental effort small children should be left as free as lambs to run out of doors 
to be free and happy and should be allowed the most liberal opportunities to lay the foundation for sound constitutions. So that's it. Children should be something like, um, we just let them go, ran out, to be free and happy. Uh, it's really nice if we see them like that than to uh, watch them sometimes because we really want to help our children to be smart we want them to learn many things. We want them to send to school so that they could learn many things. But in their young age, it has to be something like physical activities only. Anyway, they could still learn many things through physical um, activities. Parents should be the only teachers of their children when? Until they have reached 8 or 10 years of age. Um, sorry, because this is already crucial, if you ask me, um, even me myself, I'm um, doubting, but this is the best one, um, because in my country, um, four-year-old children should be sent to school already for a preschool level, and then go to the uh, kindergarten one and two until they reach grade one but uh, at the age of eight or ten parents should be the only teachers of their children i think um why we have so many juvenile delinquencies juvenile children it's because um they are already exposed in their young age to some um not because it's only all negative but there are many negative things that you could learn um, if uh, we expose them to I mean outside what if the parents should give time to their children um, in just this particular age than to be so busy in things that sometimes we neglect the, the time that we could give to them as fast as their minds can comprehend it, the parents should open before them God's great book of nature. Now, this is what we are talking about. Um, it says here that we could open to them great book of nature, God's great book of nature. The mother should have less love for the artificial in her house and in the preparation of her dress for display. Um, and should find time to cultivate in herself and in her children a love for the beautiful buds and opening flowers. So those are the things that we could learn. If you see um, in my background, uh, it's a garden. It's uh, an uh, ecotic garden. And I always come here because it's really like wonderful to see the be beauties of nature. Like uh, we could see the beautiful flowers, the trees. The leaves that are uh, uh, because the wind blows it. It's really nice to see it, and how we could feel the the cool, the breeze of the um, the, the environment, the nature. So our parents, we don't have to be more love for artificial in our house. That uh, my my child, if uh, they wake up in the morning. I don't want my, my wife to let them stay inside the house, but I want them to go out. I want her to send, to take them to go out and see the beauty of nature and talk about it to them. Than to just stay at home wherein they could uh, just see a TV, you could see the artificial, the beauty of the inside, what is inside our house, than to be outside when they could learn, could see the beautiful buds and opening flowers by calling the attention of her children to their different colors and variety of forms, she can make them acquainted with God who made all the beautiful things which attract and delight them. Ah, uh, the, the, I do believe that you agree with this because um, if you um have experience to go walk at the beach 
um, in the garden or, or you can see the nature, you could really be attracted and be delighted to see the beautiful things that God has made. And you, your children, our children will be acquainted with God. Why is it that there are so many depressed people in the world, though they already have so many things um, in their lives, but still there is lacking. seems like there's lacking in their lives because um, in their childhood, and it has to be the, the time that we could uh, let our children be acquainted to God. If uh, our children know that there is God, that, that, that they, they, they could make friends with God, then they could really see and they will be happy in the future. Because they could feel that God, if God take care of the nature, the t take care of grasses, when uh, most of the time we, could, um, we can um, burn them up. And if God take, uh, takes care of them, how much more we are. That is how we could teach, what we could teach our children. She can lead their minds up to their Creator and awaken in their young hearts a love for their Heavenly Father. I really love this um, statement. Who has manifested so great love for them. Parents can associate God with all His created works. Yes. First, before we could teach, we have to learn first. And if we want to uh, teach them about God, then we have to learn from all His created works. The only schoolroom for children from 8 to 10 years of age should be in the open air. Wow, that's cool. But sometimes, most of the times, we are so busy doing household chores and uh, we could go out if we only have time. But early in the morning, if you see uh, this part here, this uh, garden, wow, how nice to go out in this time, morning hours. Amid the opening flowers and nature's beautiful scenery, and their only textbook should be the treasures of nature. That's cool. You can have closeness with your children. You can be happy to see them, how they learn. Just basic things that they need to learn. But sometimes, even me, myself, I, uh, I want my child to learn A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, how to... Uh, uh, count numbers, how to read and write, even though this, they are still two years old, my, 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 young, my eldest. These lessons imprinted upon the minds of young children and amid the pleasant, attractive scenes of nature will not be soon forgotten. Yes, you could really be happy and uh, love to see, to, I don't know if, uh, you have noticed also that uh, if you go, I know, uh, even in our on our wall, you could see pictures, and most of the times we want to put picture about nature because it's really attractive. And if we are exposed, if our children are exposed to nature, they will really love them, and they will really appreciate who created them. In order for children, youth to have health cheerfulness, vivacity, and well-developed muscles and brains, they should much, they should, sorry, they should be much in the open air and have well-regulated employment and amusement. They, they, are, they will really be amused. Um, they could uh, develop their muscles because they could play with the other children or if um, your child has a little uh, sister or brother, they could play outside, they could run, they could uh, touch um, like uh, the, 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 the plants and even chase sometimes animals, goats or dogs or chicken. Do that, those things will amuse them.
and that will develop their muscles and brain and they will be happy you can have good health children and youth who are kept at school and confined to books cannot have sound physical constitutions that's why there are so many obese children in our time now and if uh, we see them sometimes we are happy because we could see that they are healthy because they are big they are fat but actually obesity is not good but if we keep them outside we let them go outside there there will be good um, health they could have good health than to be kept at school and confined to books the exercise of the brain in study without corresponding physical exercise has a tendency to attract the blood to the brain brain and the circulation of the blood through the system becomes unbalanced see that if we it's uh, the, our mental activities with uh, out corresponding physical exercise it attract the blood to the brain and the circulation of blood through the system becomes unbalanced because it has to be something like the our blood should just um, uh, like you just flow the whole system through the whole system the brain has too much blood and uh, the extremities too little there should be rules regulating their studies to certain hours then and then a portion of their time should be spent in physical labor so if we want if, if you see that our children are overtaxed with lessons already uh, because we send them to school uh, because they have so many activities at school and they have so many homeworks so uh, if we see them we should put rules to regulate their study if, um, like my child just 20 minutes probably or 30 minutes then after that you could have more time spending in physical labors playing with the other kids uh, playing with uh, their toys so it should be you do, we should not forget to give a portion of their time to physical labor as it says here um, it is written by Mrs. White in the 1890s and though it is already old but the principles still is important for us to learn and remember and if their habits of eating dressing and sleeping are in accordance with physical law they can obtain an education without sacrificing physical and mental health so we have to uh, as parents learn many things by probably by our experience or by studying so that we could um, impart those knowledge the knowledge to our children and we should not be forget we should not forget to um, like um, of course even we as adults have to have physical activities after a long study and it, we have to uh, know and see um, how we we let our students uh, allow them to have habits of eating even dressing and sleeping should be in accordance with the physical law so that they could not sacrifice physical and mental health um so um so that's it so we are done with this uh chapter and um this uh, first part don't forget if uh, you haven't watched the first part then you can uh search it and if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet you can subscribe it just click the button below and click the bell below also for you to have the updates to receive notification if I have a new video that I could uh, share to you and we could learn together we could study together um, so thank you everyone
hopefully that you have enjoyed it and if you like it just like it click like if you want to share it it's because you like it then you share it on your uh, social media thank you bye bye have a nice day